Hello and welcome to the 87 Legends at Daytona again. Um, decided to do another one of these races because <laughs> uh, Nick's in here. He uh, said on his Twitter that he was going to be jumping into one of these races. And, uh, well, I figured why not. I got crashed out of the first attempt here, and normally I do one and done, like super speedways. But, uh, yeah, this is a little more fun than your typical super speedway, since you got these, uh, these crazy things going 220. So, it can be some good fun, and I would like to actually survive a little longer this time if I can. So why not? Plus, super speedways are always pretty strong strength of field races, even in the Legends. So we're, uh, we're going to be the number 11 here today, which is pretty cool. And uh, I guess we will see if we survive this time. <laughs> I can only hope. I'm just going to take the same approach, because um, it's pretty much luck based. You know, if I start in the back, I'll probably have to check up for a half incident, lose the draft, and it'll go green at the end. That's happened multiple times to me before. And if I try to start in the front and end up, you know, wherever, you know, I'll probably just happen like what happened last time. Guy gets loose in front of me and uh, nowhere for me to go. So, <laughs> just gotta be in the right place at the right time. So I figure I might as well just go for it and have some fun while I'm doing it. So, taking it easy this first lap, if you didn't, couldn't tell. Just not quite up to speed yet on that uh, first lap. And I don't want to, to completely use up the tires. Because, wow, tires mattering on a super speedway. Isn't the 87 car great? Use up the tires. Second lap instead. And, uh, hopefully get a good, nice starting spot. Preferably, hopefully, you're gonna be in front of as many people as possible. Less likely for someone to wreck in front of me if there's less people in front of me, right? That's the idea. But I'm pretty sure I don't do these qualifyings right. And the 87, I'm not quite sure how to do it exactly, but 44 1. That'll bring us to P3. Sure. You're gonna see, like, everyone's super close on time. Because, uh, yeah, you just flat foot it. Once you get in the draft, you probably should lift off a little bit here at Daytona for safety. <laughs> but, uh, qualifying, you just flat foot it. Got a couple recognizable names in here, in addition to Nick, of course. And, uh, oh, that's right, I wanted to do a uh, practice a green flag pit stop, just in case. I'll go around one more time if we, uh, you know, if we don't get kicked out beforehand, if everyone uh, does their lap, or laps, rather. So not too bad, qualifying-wise. Fourth, that'll do. I'm content with that. Like I said, try to get us in front of as many people as possible. Let's see if I can get on pit road in a safe yet efficient way. Your speed. Sure. That works for me. Pit box team. Pin. Oh no. I thought about trying to see if I could thread that needle. I don't even think you can go in there, but then I'm like, uh, I guess I better not give away my safety rating for no reason. We'll get this prepped for incidents later, assuming we make it that far. Better camera angle. No one else is qualifying. Which I understand. I mean, the only problem is, like, uh, if you wanted to start in the back, 
and you are, for example, the one, well, you're not going to start in the back, are you? You're going to start right smack dab in the middle. Unless you do this. This whole leave and come back thing. Like, see, 98, 98 on the tires. It will matter. So that was not a very good lap then, if, uh, <laughs> if not very many people qualified. And uh, that's where we are. But, I assume, probably pretty strong field. Hopefully that means we've got some good racing here. We're going to do session best, because it doesn't uh, keep track of our true fastest lap because of draft and whatever. And uh, we'll have crew chief ready to tell us what we need to know. All that good stuff. And uh, I better behave myself because I think we got a couple streamers in here. <laughs> we got Nick in here, and then we got Twitch streamers, like the guy in front of us, and then a couple other people. I think three might stream, unless I'm thinking of someone else. And there's that loser number 11 who does YouTube videos that, like, three people watch. <laughs> So, 50 laps here. Should be a fun time, I hope. Hopefully we get going here soon. Good luck, everybody. Looking through the field here. Nick starting 14th. The one did the uh, leave and come back trick to end up in the back. Last time, I kind of got ran over, because <laughs> I was kind of trying to be easier on the throttle. And I just kind of got run over and lost, like, four spots. I don't know if I want to push any harder. Speaking of push, three's pushing the four off the grid. I know a lot of these guys know each other, though, so it's not like... Guy being weird to him or something, but <laughs> warming the tires, I guess. Do you have this unmuted, right? Yes. For not to be hit by the three swerving, if possible. Got some weird pacing going on right here. So I guess, uh, guess I'm just going to go for it, going to drive, try not to <laughs> get put three wide if I can avoid it, although we'll see how that turns out. I'm not sure I have much of a choice when it comes to that sort of thing. And hopefully uh, get a good view of the leader here when we start, not that it matters too much what your launch is, wind draft is such a thing, but I want to get run over from behind or anything. Get ready, going green. Be ready. Ice car is off. Be ready. Go, green nice. flag, green flag. Outside. All right, pretty good start for the inside row, it looks like. Stay low. Just well wide. Outside, outside, clear. Outside. Check up a little bit. Keep low. Sorry, dude. Keep low. Sure, I can hold my line down here. Yeah, well, the guys up in front of us don't look like they're too concerned about holding their line. Uh, I'm not even going down reading the bumper. Didn't notice they were checking up. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. 
Outside, clear. P6. Stuff in the corner a little bit. So we're going light speed. Driving these things on a super speedway. It's like traveling through space in a tin can. The speed of light. Yeah, certainly are not being patient up front here. It looks like they're bump drafting actually, so we're gonna get stuck in a crash probably, but is what it is. I check up a lot for the guy in front of me. Still inside. This sure is dangerous. P7, up up time was 43 points. Clear inside. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there, hold your line. It'll only continue to get more dangerous too as the uh, tires wear off. You got more risk of guys heading up and hitting the wall. And, uh, you know, it could be us too. If I'm not careful. Ending up in this high lane might not have been the best tactical decision. PT near, we're going for half a lap. Lincoln in the back or something. There at the bottom. Clear inside. Inside. At least this is more engaging than normal super speedway racing. Oh god, yeah, that guy. If you get turned, I almost got in the wall ahead of us. Country buffet. No, oh, tasty. Clear inside. All sorts of sketchy around us here. Combined three seconds over the last two laps. Make sure there's no one below us, just in and case. Just in front of me after half a lap. Okay, Colton. The next car is O'Neill. Outside. Keep low. Clear outside if you want to. Draft right now. Look, he's there in the corners and gone. Let's go get some. Basically. It's pretty tough to pass though, oddly enough, once the tires start getting worn out in these races. Another reason maybe the track position might be nice. As for pit strategy, I'm gonna go as long as the tank will let me. Because even though the tires do matter a little bit, bump drafting behind. Even though the tires matter a little bit, you do not want to get caught a lap down in this car. So, I'm gonna ride it out until the tank runs out. Just done a Again, hopefully we make it that far. Close quarters here so far. Keep low. Outside, clear. I'll leave the outside lane open for that guy. Looks like he was about ready to come on past. Okay, everybody's coming on past. See you later, everybody on planet Earth. Just closing the door in front of me, it looks like. 
stay low. There is a car on the high side. We're just getting sounds on the outside, and that's scary. Hold your line. Oh. Trying my best to hold it on the bottom. Okay, I guess you want to be on the higher line once the tires start wearing out, because it sure looks like it's moving a lot better than I was trying to hold my line on the bottom. Do I want to back out at this point? Because now I've got a bunch of people in front of me. I don't know. Ah, it's more entertaining this way. We'll stay here. I don't uh, come into any super speedway race, even in these cars, with any sort of expectation. So. Just uh, let the adrenaline flow, I guess. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Higher line seems to move better in the corners. Interesting. I've done a lot of 87 races at super speedways, but not as many since they've like updated the way these cars drive and everything. I think I mentioned that in the last video, but um, there's still some things I'm learning about how like this iteration of the car works and drives on super speedways and stuff. So. All I ask is if then I'm gonna if I'm gonna be crashed, there at least better be a blowover involved. Make it worth my time. I haven't seen Nick at all. I assume he's still kind of just hanging around in the Davis. back half of the field waiting for me and uh, a couple of the other guys up here to get caught in the wreck. Not unlikely. Still inside. Oh, that thing is not turning. Keep high. Clear. Some weird stuff going on up ahead. Some cars shifting in strange, concerning ways. Okay, oh! V12. Yes, 10's getting on the apron a lot. So far, so clean, though. As close as this racing's been. So far, so good. Of course, now that I've said that they're gonna wreck, because that's what always happens. Yep, there he goes. Caution or no caution? No yellow for that? That's what happens. 
That's cool, cool, man. That's why I, uh, split off the track. I don't play the uh, no qualify game because you yeah. check up for something like that and this thing goes green to the end, then we, you might as well have just been in the wreck. I remember my 15th time going into turn one. You're in the top 10. Your last lap time was at 44.6. So I don't know if uh, there was any checking up involved behind us. Uh, they might have lost the front pack draft. 16's trying to hit the wall in the straightaway, it looked like, for a second. Going about 170. I'm going to bump pit stops. Potentially. I wasn't even on his bumper. I guess not. Still got a lot of fuel left. <sighs> I said I wanted to use up the tank, but then I kind of thought about draft, like if the whole field starts pitting. Oh. Get back in, David, if you want. A pretty good group, though, even though they uh, had that issue just a moment ago. Everyone's been able to keep it clean for the most part. Uh, I'll go back and look at it right there and see what I did. I don't know. I've passed that 100,000 times and I haven't gotten loose. Hopefully, Nick didn't get caught in any of that. Kind of got my hands full. Can't really look through the relative, see if he's back there or not. But uh -huh. all good. Can't hear a moment. He's still back there, second and a half. What are we doing? Changing lanes. Will we get more guys running into each other? Find out. Car inside, the driver in front of us is Smith. Stay high, the go fast, we're going high, I'm hopeful from this. Still there, hold your line, clear. Well, you drive these things in these corners when you run the high side, kind of like that. Well, it reminds me a little bit of uh, <laughs> Darlington, actually. Maybe it's just because I just ran there, but. The like the way you kind of might have to lift off a little bit in the middle of the corner. That was a big checkup, by the way, that I had to do just then. Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Stay high, put the car on the low side. Clear inside. Just like nowhere to go. Oh, a little bit of stuff going on there for a second. In the wall. Oh. Oh. Something's happening below us. I'm glad that uh, no one got turned up into me there. Yeah, I had a checkup for you to drive me over in the corner. Well, hey, uh, sitting inside the top five right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, gonna take it three wide, I guess. Lap 21. Don't you know you gotta lead lap 21 in order to win the race? Yeah, you don't gotta give any room there and play there, buddy. That guy almost ran close. me over. I don't know what you're trying to do there. I think that 14 is the one that crashed uh, in front of me in my last race. With this rusty car. I don't know if you tried to get dumped. I mean, okay. 
Yeah, Wouldn't it be hilarious if the same exact guy that I that crashed in front of me the last time is the same guy that crashes in front of me in my next attempt? Wouldn't that just be super funny? I might even just roll on the floor laughing. Or as the kids say, raffle. Right? Am I hip? They're pretty good fun so far, though. Car inside. Pretty intense racing. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Okay, it's gonna close the door on me with about a centimeter to spare. Now he's checking up with a centimeter to spare. Sixth place. Inside. <laughs> he is cutting him way too close to me. Oh my gosh, major checkup. It feels like I'm doing origami, holding this wheel. <laughs> How much I have to move it all around, all these bumps and everything. My hands are doing origami. Still no crashes, or, you know, no yellows, I mean. Sure will be part of it when it happens. For now, I can dream. <laughs> Illusions of grandeur. Got some lap traffic coming up. That ought to be fun. Drifting up into me. It's close. to reveal a lap car. I thought the yellow car was the first lap car we are going to... That's Nick! <laughs> I thought the yellow car was the first lap car we were going to see. Not Nick. Oh man, I wonder what happened. I'm glad I was paying attention. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> Just rear end him. We survived the first stint. And 
No green flag pit stops will be necessary. Which is kind of a bummer. I think I was getting into the pit stops pretty cleanly. I think I could probably pull it off. But I locked up the right front so bad when I thought that I was just stuck at that tire. We will fill it up. back. <sighs> and we will. That was a lot of fun up there. Two tires. Yeah, I wish we got some green flag kits up. Yeah, it was great. Pete Rowdy, yeah, that, that was intense. Was, yeah, it was fun. fun. I'll tell you what. Oh, Bob Carson, the lap car, and Nick Nevin were not seeing eye to eye on something. <laughs> One weapon. Not sure what they're referring to. Green flag stops have been really nice. Look out for the pit speed limit. The pit lane speed limit is 60 miles per hour. All right, Colton, we'll fill you to the end of the race. The leader, Grinch, is pitting. Ten, five, four, three, two, one. Right here. Oh, over here. Stall. Okay, good. Good stuff. Yeah, don't I'll do what the three did. <laughs> and what I did last race. Just a heads up. You know okay. <laughs> I'll scare you there for a second. They want you in single file. Lots of guys with the same idea. Of taking two tires. I figure if you don't need to do it at regular tracks. You don't need to uh, do it at a super speedway in this series. 7762. Yeah, it was uh, being real good to those tires, huh? We're not going to look at that no more. So. <laughs> Didn't really matter too much. Clearly, I was keeping up just fine. I'm just going to have to watch out here. Um, because the right sides are going to be cold and the left sides are not are going to be not as cold. Could cause some loose feeling, particularly on entry, which can happen. Did we get some people? Okay, no. I thought there were people that did not pit, potentially, but those are... That's Nick and another lap car. Yeah, I could just feel those tires were going towards the end of that run. I was trying to save them, but it was like, yeah, there's, there's no way to make it, make it on those tires. Where's he going? You got plenty of fuel. Where are you going? Why wouldn't you get your wave around? One to go. Take a normal lap, lap down. down. Oh, ah, weird. Oops, no button. So we are gonna restart fourth. Hmm, single file, which is, which is fun. Um, no green-white checkers in the series as usual, so race can end a little quicker than you expected if we start getting more cautions. Wait, hold on a second. We don't have wave rounds in 1987, do we? No, so Nick's going to be up there, I guess, and then uh, be on the, I don't know, the inside line? Something? Maybe he's trying to uh, keep his control car low. Um, trying to keep his lap, or try to get it back. So that's kind of your only hope. If he's only one down... Oh, he's... Oh, yeah, well, duh. It says he's on the lead lap, but it's because he's in front of everybody. Yeah, so... He's hoping for a quick caution, I guess. Get back in the lead lap. He's just got to do what he's got to do. 1987 style. Get Whoa. ready. Going green. Now I understand why the 18. Okay. Oh, 
Post car is off. Time to do your job. Couldn't see it all. They're going, they're going, they're going, they're going, they're going, they're going. But we're okay. We're going to be in the draft, so. If anything, it'll give us a big run. Oh my god, I heard that skidding. Scared the life out of me. Hey man. Is that Nick was involved in that? I had no idea they were wrecking. I'm so... God. Like I said, the end of this race can sneak up on you. He's in the middle of the backstretch and he wants to turn down as we're going three wide on him. I don't get it. Uh oh. I don't know what happened, but it doesn't sound good. The 16 just hit the wall under caution, unless that was some weird prediction code thing. Time and space is falling apart. How did you guys not see that? Yeah, I'm seventh, and there was a good 15, 20 car lanes back behind me with nobody. Pit Road is now open. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Well, well, now what am I going to talk about? Now I got to do a bunch of pacing on a huge track. Obviously, you're not pitting. Just pit. And it's a super speedway. So that would be just silly. Right, guys? You're not pitting, right? I always wonder. Hey, you said lead the way. I've seen Stranger Things. Not just the Netflix show. Car 18. Got the lucky dog. Let them past on the outside. Pass on the outside. Okay, so we do have the lucky dog, but we don't get the way around. Okay. I'm trying to... I, I, got con I get all confused with the rules in the series, because whenever Winter and IS came around, they switched it up. How they did it, and had different rules. Need a reminder. I don't get to race this series as much uh, anymore. So, not gonna do anything dumb trying to go for the win. I mean, I'll try. But I'm not gonna do anything dumb to get there. If I finish top ten, I'm still above my uh, car number. And uh, right now, we are in the top five. So, I don't want to throw that away either. But I have the feeling. Everyone else is going to be going for first, so I don't know if there's such thing as taking it easy <laughs> in this combo. Change my gearing before I forget. Don't want to start restarting fourth. Lap car, lap car, lap car can't hold a line the same. Way. Who are they talking? About? I don't know what the drama is. I don't know what the spicy tea in play is at this moment. One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. Race guys coming in this lap. I don't even know where that key is. Are we there yet? Gonna be 15 to go, so there's still lots of race left. You know, it feels like we've been here forever. Car felt good uh, with the two tires. It's feeling A-OK. -okay. I'm not too concerned about that. If anything, having more turn in it will be better. As so long as it's not turning 90 degrees. What 
Was that you overcorrected on the apron? Uh oh, it might it might have been Nick that they're talking about. Oh no. Tough spot to be in though when guys are zooming up on you. Multiple wide. Maybe I can actually see the leader when he jumps this time. What a concept. It's of carrot symbols in the chat tonight. Philip, are you related to Chris McCandless? He's my twin brother. <laughs> For real? Post car is off. Time to do your job. Okay, saw a little bit better that time. Yeah. Yeah, that's Blake McCandless's well, this time, just twin brother. In front of the whole field, if you are familiar with who Blake is, they both race. That's pretty cool. Why am I slow? I'm just as full throttle as everyone else. Bump drafted. Sweet beans. Car inside. Yeah, go ahead and try to take this. It's only going to get harder to pass as the tires wear, so take what we can get. Clear inside. He gone. Plus, you know, cautions can come out anytime. I'm telling you, man. You're gonna wanna be where you wanna finish. And I'm useless at saving tires anyway, so might as well just go for it. turning just fine. I haven't even really felt the loose on entry so much yet. Oh, there goes Nick. Not a great race. He probably won't even upload this one, or maybe he will, because there, there were enough green flag laps, but this didn't go so well for him, unfortunately. Getting tight. Not what I want. Oh, close to the wall there. Well, shoot. Still there, hold your line. Still there. That's what I like to see. I love heart attacks. Invigorate my day. P8. Well, that was a 43.5. And that's how I lost a bunch of spots. What is this, a short track? Gotta have the bottom line? Oh well, like I said, if I finish in the top 10, I'm happy. Heck, if I finish this thing clean, I'm happy. <laughs> Take what I can get. When it's something as dangerous as this, and as luck based as this. Not so much as normal super speedway luck, but there's still some luck element involved. Ten to go, this time by. Worth is down the lead. Wonder how much arrow pushes the thing in these cars. Probably not much, right? There's no downforce. 
really, I really don't know. I have no familiarity. Well, I thought having right sides only would maybe make this thing looser, but it's still just pretty tight. Maybe uh, you do want four tires. I'm holding on, obviously, but it's gotten tight real quick. Four tires might be the way to go. Oh, they're moving around a lot up there. Car outside. Clear high. Russell Shackelford. What's a spy? Old Russ Bucket. <laughs> Decided they did not want to go uh, too wide through the corner. Seventh position. The lap time was at 43.4. Seventh place. Feeling good. Also, shout out to that uh, lap car that was on the apron, didn't uh, get in the way. I saw him, and I appreciate that. They didn't have to do that. But uh, I'm sure everybody up here appreciates it. So we can hardly race with ourselves here, much less add another car into the mix. It just stopped turning. Man, that's a 2x. That's nice. Hopefully we're not damaged enough speed. It just wouldn't turn. It just stopped turning. Like, I know how it feels when it gets tied on exit, and all my prior knowledge told me I would have, I should have been just fine, but it just stopped turning. I'm thinking four tires is probably the way to go. It was, uh... I got about two laps of it feeling kind of good. Coming up. So that'll be good. We're pretty close, I think. Maybe the caution ends the race at this point. It's pretty close. I don't know exactly what the case would be, but. If I blow a tire, I'm sorry. What tires? Is the risk of that? I haven't gotten any message or anything. Car inside. Concerning low tires. Still there at the bottom. If you make it on one set, it's hard of all of us are focusing on rack, uh, on the first run, to the Still there. Yeah, I, I really should have taken tires, but I thought, why not? Well, why not clear take them? Inside. Or why do take them? Whatever, oh. I can't speak. Falling back. Oh, there's some serious blocking going on. Yep, looks like a high strength of field race to me. That's the kind of thing you'll see in races where everyone's the number one car. We are in the closing laps here at Daytona, so. Things are gonna just continue to get more crazy. Push now. Catch up here. 
Yeah, it's, it's so tough to pass once these tires get, uh, get worn. Uh, that's indecisive there. Thought about trying to make a move to the inside, but it wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna get there. Alright, coming to the white flag. Here we go. We made it this far. Matching race pace. White flag, last lap. Your last lap time was at 43.5. Definitely going to be watching out on exit. See that coming. You guys suck. <laughs> I can't do anything about that. I have someone who would have pushed me that tire on my cut. P7. Reckon, reckon. P7. It's over. I was committed taking the bottom line there. Whenever they were all of a sudden wrecking. There's nothing I could do to not get in the back of them. Man, no one was pushing me though. That <laughs> Bobby, did you get the lead? No one pushes anyone with two to go. It's every man for himself. I didn't think no tires would work out that way though. Alright. I'm okay with that. I like seventh. I do want to take a look at that. Um, if there's anything I could do. Yeah. Send a message to him. That's the guy that wrecked me in the last race. Six X, not great. Nineteen thirty nine. I look pretty impressed. They actually made it the whole way on one set of tires. Yeah, you look like from my cockpit view. Cockpit view. There is. I was committed to uh, going to the bottom, so I'm already like diving into the corner. And he's checking up so much, I just... There's no way. I'll get cold in the end. <laughs> that is gone. Okay. I was just gonna say, it was, it was fun racing with you there, I just couldn't react in time. All right, so let's see the uh, incidents properly, and uh, I think we'll see some interesting things probably. Like the twenty-three doing some crazy stuff. Is that just a self-spin all by themselves? Here it was. I mean, I've done it before, so I can't say anything. Been a, it's been a minute, but it happens for sure. It's not going to bring out a caution or anything, though, because they weren't sideways or around anyone, it looks like. 
Yeah, we saw it, we saw it. And here's the not caution. See, they're all below the apron now, that's why it doesn't come out. And that's why, like, these are the kind of things where that's why I qualify. You look at someone like the number 10 there, if he has to check up any more than that, you know, he's he loses the draft. Caution doesn't come out or anything. Does Nick lose the draft from it? Is that uh, what causes him to go farther back? I, don't know. I think he had more trouble. I think he was sticking up with us longer into the race than that. Wall there. I think they're gonna have more trouble. No? It's kind of a bummer we didn't get to do uh, green flag pit stops. I don't know if I've ever done green flag pit stops. In the 87s at a super speedway in general. That's probably wrong. I probably have, but I don't remember any specific instances. Just seeing a bunch of worn tires right now, I think. Yeah, worn tires. Here's me. Left looks pretty good on that scheme. I think I have good schemes. I like the Space Invaders scheme, too. I've seen that one before. It's a fun one. Tire's getting worn. Oh, how much? Pull a bunch more than that. And with a little wiggle, allows us to go around the outside there. I'm a little upset with myself for getting into the wall. Uh, I wanted to have a clean race without getting into the wall at all, but I get myself a 2x doing that. It's a bummer, but at least I didn't hurt anyone else. I cared more about that than myself. If I wreck myself, that's fine. Just don't ruin anyone else's race because of my mistakes. Okay, I gotta see exactly what happens here, because I think something went down with Nick. First of all, how did he get off the pace? He pits. Interesting. He pits it halfway. Oh man, that would have been really interesting to see how that worked out. He's signaling that he's going to be pitting there by moving to the bottom, I imagine. Because he doesn't use voice chat or text chat, so he's trying to indicate as much uh, or as well as possible. He cuts it close on speed. I think he probably avoided the black flag unless, I think, maybe? That counts as missing pit entry? Perhaps. But then, uh, he comes out, and then I think there was some trouble as the field caught him at a million miles an hour. And he can't... He, this, he, this is still part of his strategy, so he can't just like sit on the apron and wait for everyone to go by and lose a bunch of time. Like, this is part of his strategy, so he can't just... That's a really, really tough spot to be put into. So he holds the, the high line up here. Like you're supposed to. Looks like he's fine. Maybe it was... Later that something happens? I honestly don't know. Oh, okay. 25 is way up the track for some reason. I guess he's not expecting Nick to have... Well, that's weird. <laughs> 25 should maybe anticipate having to leave more room with the car slowing there. But he also kind of moves down a little bit. No harm, no foul there, though. Just a bit of a door touch. Please tell me the 25 did not just intentionally wreck him like that. That was not intentional, I hope, right? Nah, he's getting sideways, it looks like. I think 
Nick got him in the rear and it got him unsettled. No, but look, it looks like he has it gathered up. It's hard to know for sure. He's turning left. I don't know. He just maybe isn't able to keep it down there. And, uh... It's 25, not being able to stay in line. Ugh. It sucks. And Nick was the caution. Bomber dude. That was a caution, right? Yeah, there's... There's the PP flag. Out for this sad instance. And then the rest of us pit. He's warming his tires, I guess, for some reason. <laughs> Maybe scraping the wall a tiny bit. What happened here? Okay, we, uh... Okay, so Nick stayed out, because as I was talking about at the time, he has to try to get his lap back. He has to hope for a quick caution. He's doing what he has to do to stay in this one. Guys, uh, unfortunately, are heading around the outside, though. And it looks like he's trying to get to the top. Maybe he decides against it and then sees that he's getting split. Huh. Maybe a little indecisive of where to be. Because it looks initially like he's going to move up there. Gosh, it wasn't because he wasn't trying to block me, right? Like, maybe he saw I was coming and then de decided to be in the middle instead. This is all just guessing, but maybe he decided he was going to hold the middle line so that way he wasn't in my path. Or maybe he just saw that I was coming closer. And then... 14 chooses to go low... Nick's kind of in the middle. And then Nick kind of pinches him. I, maybe he misjudged it and just tried to file in behind him. Oh man, rough race though. And then that, that looks very similar to his other crash too, ending up uh, backwards against the wall. Rough race. And then that's the other caution. And lots of people get caught up in this one. Ooh. And then, like, people checking up cause more guys to run into other guys. Chain reaction type deal. They were already three wide, too. This looks like it was a separate incident. This looks like they were going to crash regardless of this happened up here. Because they're going three wide and then the 21 doesn't hold his line. So this is like a separate caution altogether. So that might as well be two separate cautions. The 8, I remember him po apologizing for this. Doesn't see them wrecking up theirs, not looking ahead. And runs into the back of the 4. Whoa, this was a bad one. There were a lot of people that got damaged from this. Oh man. And these things don't sl the slow down all that well either. Then we got the 25 coming in. A um, little bit of uh, What's their name action. Arca Breaks. Jennifer Joe Cobb, yeah. Same exact corners, too, I think. Or was it at Talladega where that happened? But same thing, just not hitting the brakes enough and then just plowing into it. Whoa, there's a tire over there. Okay. Dwelling on this a little bit too much. We will move on. 10 has to lift or he's going to hit the wall and then unfortunately gets run into the back of. Teen's going to hit the wall in the trial because of his bad angle. Oh no, and he spins it too. Well done on this guy for being able to keep this thing straight and not causing a caution. 
That was pretty well done. He ends up on the track, but there's no one there. To run into him, so. Oh, th yeah, and this is where I got my heart attack. Because he decided to blink right in that corner and be uh, all up in my face. <laughs> 16, very close to the wall. That was very close. It's looking even more like Darlington, how close they are to the wall. Maybe tires hitting a certain point. Is this where I hit the wall? Yeah, look at that. It just shoots all the way to the top. Oh, I almost came off the wall and hit him, too. I need to be more careful. I don't know why it didn't turn. Look at that. It just, it's not turning at all. I guess because I didn't have a very good angle, I was kind of just glued to the bottom. It just would not turn. I'm glad I didn't peel off the wall and hit the 14, though. Been bad. So that was my uh, mistake of the race. Glad it wasn't any worse. And tires getting worn. As for the lead going on, who even won? I didn't even look. The number one did. That makes sense. 16. A fantastic run, though. Everyone in here is very talented, though, with the strength of field this high. Or, you know, at least they uh, consistently get good finishes. Which most likely means that they're very talented, but... Yeah. Um, so even, like, the 25s probably got a pretty good eye rating and stuff. And then... Nothing happening back here, I imagine. Be following the 5... This is the final lap where it got weird. Hmm. See, my idea was follow the guys in the draft here. They're all entering the corner super low, and I know the tires are worn, so my idea is get a better angle on the corner. Maybe guys wash up the track, and I get the bottom. Maybe get a spot or two. That was my thought process, but the five is blocking me from seeing the start of the wreck up here. And so by the time I st start seeing things look weird, I'm already taking my corner entry, and I get uh, I get on the brakes as soon as I can. But it wasn't enough to stay off the 14, and uh, he was understanding. So appreciate him for that. I didn't cause the wreck, but I hate that I got into him. He blinks. And he still holds on for a top 10, so uh, that's good. So, I guess uh, this is my quote-unquote payback for him wrecking in front of me. Though, obviously, obviously not intentional. And I wasn't looking for payback in the first place, but just kind of funny that us uh, same two guys ended up into each other again. And uh, thankfully that didn't turn me either. I had my wheel turn pretty hard to the left, and I think that helped me <laughs> not get uh, right rear there too hard. I think maybe he even turned his wheel right to save me and uh, stay out of the line of these guys. So if that's the case too, I appreciate him for that. Unfortunately, we got another 4x there. Bring our total to 6x. Who cares though? <laughs> and then what, what happened here? I did see this in my mirror. Force flying in, no lifting on the final lap, and then... Oh, the 7 gets loose all on his own, I think. Weird, maybe because of the 4, just being so close behind him, got the air off of his, uh... off the rear end. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. He's so close to the finish line, he's gonna lose all these spots. Reverse, man. Oh, no, no. Actually, don't. <laughs> Cause you're in the middle of the track. Oh god! Oh boy, that is scary. Well, he got there. <laughs> and uh, that was the end of the race. So, um, one thing I do want to check, what did the finish look like for the leaders? That's always entertaining. Uh, left. 50. 
So 16 had a run on him, and he goes for it. He tries going in the apron, I think it looked like, but not quite. No yellow line rule in 1987, but it <laughs> didn't work for him. And, uh, hey, that's it. So, P7, pretty good. Much better than uh, my last attempt here. Um, still gotten a little bit of a little bit of some bumper cars, but nothing too bad. And uh, some very intense close racing for a lot of that one. Um, it's cool to race with Nick as usual. Uh, I'm glad I was able to see his tweet in time. Unfortunately, his race didn't go too well, but that'll happen, especially at super speedways where sometimes things just, well, the cards just don't play in your favor. So that'll be it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed some Daytona in uh, the year 1987. So uh, have a good one.